Ready? <laughs> That's like the fucking guinea force. That was it. That was it. <laughs> How to get a dead out of a hood. <laughs> oh, you did good. It's right here. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wait. Go up. Oh, good. My shot was awesome. Ready? Go. <laughs> You should never check the coolant. I mean, you can when it's cold, but it's supposed to be at the min line. You don't want to fill Wait, it up. You need to do an intro. Stand down. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Stop, Petersick Motors. I'm Tom Resick. This is Matthew Peterson. It's, it's winter. And this is uh, no, it's Dick Smith. All right. You know what they call right. Dick Smith? We're here. You're, for, Dick, you're the Dick Smith. We're Rich. here for people who don't know <laughs> basic maintenance on cars. Tom, you know basic maintenance on cars? You know how to do oil changes, brake changes. Brake pads, yeah. Okay. So you brake pads and just put them on the spot right now. <laughs> I'll do it. You got <laughs> Yo, take mine off and put them back on. Right now? Yeah. I'll do it. No. All right. New video. <laughs> hey guys, this is Tom on the spot. All right. Basic maintenance includes oils and filters. So oil change, obviously, get it done every 3,000 miles, depending on what oil you get. 3,000 miles for conventional, 5,000 for what? Synthetic. Synthetic what? Full. No, 5,000 for synthetic blend, seven to 10,000 for full synthetic. Filters, filters always have to be replaced after everyone. You get the ones that say 10,000 miles. Go like, if you have full synthetic and you really don't want to pay for it, go to seven, but like, just watch it. Check it every now and then, make sure you're not burning oil. How to check oil, checking oil is easy. Now, after you get done running the car, you technically have to wipe it first because the motor is just running. Let the oil drip down. Find your dipstick, it's usually marked yellow, or the color of it's yellow, it says engine oil on it. Pull it, look at it. Some have a minimum, some have a minimum and a maximum. See that? That's nice and, it's nice and full. I've never seen a dipstick like that. Yeah, that's it's weird. Chevy. It's a little weird. Well, Chevy burns a lot of oil, and uh, their cars suck, so that's why they kind of make it a little bit more out there for you to understand. Okay, we just covered oil. Oil is basic maintenance. Basic maintenance. Without that, uh, have fun putting a $5,000 motor in it. Air filter. Air filter, whenever they try to sell you it, it is a key, it is very important, but it's pretty easy to get to yourself. They say your air filter's dirty and it is clogged up. Look at it. If it's dirty and clogged up, replace it because those particles that come in here that your car sucks up, well, this sucks up dirt, grime, all that shit. So that filter is there to filter it out. Then you have stuff that goes in your air pump. Well, your air pump pumps it back in here for your cats. But um, it'll filter it. And then you have a key and very, very expensive mass airflow sensor. This measures the amount of air coming into the engine. You dirty this up, it'll start to cause drivability issues. So what's up, the, what drivability issues does it bring up? Won't start, hesitate, uh, stalling. Does it have like a rough start? Yes. Sometimes it won't even start. You recommend um, MAF cleaner? A what? Mass airflow sensor cleaner? Um, sometimes that doesn't really work, mass airflow. Never use brake clean to clean a mass airflow. That's only if it's like Why is last that? resort. Um, Fuck the, the, the solvent in there peels off that film. Because mm -hmm. the film has to get hot. The air is cooling it down, so that's how it's measuring grams per second, how much comes in. So, air filter can actually stop a 300 to about $700 sensor from going bad. And you have your cabin filter. Your cabin filter, I'm going to tell you that, it's the air you breathe inside the car. Uh, filter is about 20000 I would say, depending on the car. Cabin, cabin is like, five, no. It wasn't dirty. Yeah, if it looks dirty, replace it. Check it every oil change. They'll always if check you want, it. You, you got those Jiffy Lubes. Just go through all everyone's car in a yeah, row. Yeah, you got those out. Yeah. You got those Jiffy Lubes, all that stuff. They'll tell you. Brake fluid. Brake fluid on a car is every 20,000 miles. If that ends up getting too dirty, too bad, it'll start to wear down seals, wear down brake cylinders, calipers. That's when calipers start to lock up, wheel cylinders lock up, and your brakes lock up. Uh, getting that flush out every now and then, put good fluid in there, clean everything out. And then you have your ABS module. This is not equipped with ABS. But if it is, it has to go through a module. It can clog up a lot of the valves inside the ABS module and start to cause ABS issues. You have coolant. Coolant is there for what? We just discussed this yesterday. Cooling down the engine. Oh yeah. And? Giving you heat in your car. And? 
Heat stops it from overheating and stops it from freezing. Over. It has a boiling point. 50-50 mix of distilled water and coolant. And coolant it's concentrate. Yeah. It has a max freezing point and it has a max boiling point. So, coolant. Without that fill, check it. It has a minimum and a maximum line. Now, when the engine is hot, it's kind of filling up the system with all that coolant. So, it's going to be down a little bit lower. But never let it go get below the minimum. You have other reservoirs, that's a reservoir in general. Windshield washer cool. fluid, I mean if you want to see, and which windshield washer, windshield clean, fill it up with specific windshield washer fluid. Not, there's no manufacturer specific, it's just Rain-X. Stop bitching here! <laughs> I mean, you honestly probably could. You get the windshield wipers to do the job. And rain repellent. I can't see! Um, I like to use water because I'm cheap and I don't care. Well, I mean, that's in the summertime you want to use water. Um, <laughs> no, I use it in the winter. Uh, <laughs> tires. Regular maintenance on tires, 230 seconds. If you get a gauge or a penny, the penny trick's dumb. Just You can get a $5 gauge at an auto zone or that place. Um, make sure your tires aren't low. Check them. You have a placard inside the door. The placard tells you... Know yeah. Factory PSI, you, the vehicle what gross size rate. Size on that vehicle. Okay. So, <laughs> point to us. Check your lights. Lights are easy. Some are actually hard. Some are a lot. Of, a lot of Chevys you have to take the bumper off. A lot of other cars you gotta take the bumper off. But there are some that are easy. Nissan you have to go to the wheel well. Um, Chrysler and Jeep that have a little tab on the back of the wheel well where you unflick it and pull it out. Back tail lights are easy. Pop it up. It's behind a cover. Uh, anything else? Windshield wipers. Oh, we have blades. All right, tell me about windshield wipers. We're done under here. <laughs> Make sure that they don't streak. Oh, they streak. Make sure they're not warped and oh, they're wavy. Warped. Oh, they're wavy. Make sure they're not ripping or tearing. Oh, they're ripped. <laughs> if you have any of them, replace them. That's about basic maintenance. This would be an intro to a playlist of basic, basic in, in maintenance. Like, yes. if you need this, 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 we're gonna go over it. Yeah. If they comment, if you guys want to see anything, say something. I've been doing it for a while. Say They're, something. He's doing it now. He's starting to get into it. So, I mean, it's cars. It's just a machine. It's curves. It's not that bad. What? It's curves. What the fuck are you saying to me? It's, it's curves. Now I'm gonna put it in the machine. Now I'm gonna put it in the Chevy in the Malibu's coffin. I swear. No. You told me to put it in the coffin. I never said to. Rich did and you did it. What? You said I'm going to put it in the coffin on Tom's car. No. Yeah, you said you're going to put it in the coffin on your car. We're going to try it. to upload every. Go for it. Three. No. For three days a week, we're going to try. We have a podcast that we're going to put up in the middle of it. Hold up. If we reach 10,000 subs, I'll let you carve a dick in the hood. We get the fucking. Stat it as hard as we want, and then carve a big old dick in the hood you guys got around. 10,000 subs? 10,000 subs. I'll let you stab the front bumper as hard as you can. Right now? No. We reached 10,000 subs. We need something more than that, man. Let's no, buy a junker and just I was, right. I was kind of... Just, Kill. I kind of wanted to see you stab through it now. This bumper? Uh, actually, watch, because there are airbag sensors in there. <laughs> there was. <laughs> there's one that, There's one that, Oh! Come on. We, we have an airbag video. I saw the radiator at work. There's an airbag video we can make because I have an airbag light on. I have the TPMS light on. So next yeah. week, next week when I want to get a little bit more dirtier, we're going to dive into my airbag and then we're going to dive into the TPMS. But you need a TPMS tool, so I don't really know. All right, so we stab it? Uh, you not do it? I need a spot for you to stab it though. You can't stab it and then you hit a sensor. I'm not going to stab it. I don't want to knife it. right here. It might hurt your hand. You yeah. might not even get through it. Yeah, I don't want to cut You ain't going to get through I'll this. I'll do it. Nah, you don't break this fucking hand. Let's go! Let's try this. I got a sharp knife. You're going to put your fucking you water want? knife in there? Hold <laughs> up. It? Hold up. Before you do it. You hear me? You hear me, Tom? Yeah. Hold up. Right here. Right, right there? Yeah, do not let that knife slide down and cut your hand. I don't think you're... That's all you got? Okay. Mm. Kick it in. Now I gotta start your car up. You try? Huh? No, I'm not stabbing my own car. You think I'm dumb? Yeah. I'm stabbing <laughs> your car. No! You said you. We have it on video. You did. You said if you stab his car, he can stab your car. 
Put your card in the car. I want to see you put your card in the car. In <laughs> no, I had the tribals. But, oh. anything else? No, I think that's oh, right. We're going to lead into more shit. Like, it's going to lead into a series, but you got to understand, like, we got to figure out what kind of series we're going to do. Because sometime soon I have to do a control arm in this, so it's going to be a control arm. It's going to be, what else? Control arm, we can do uh We have to do the spring. I have the spring port. We're going to do that next week. Yeah. So we're doing a spring next week. We're going to look at my airbag next week. We're kind of getting, now that we have a lot more, uh, we're going to try to get out some more videos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, but like, comment, subscribe. Batteries! What about a battery, Tom? Make sure they're good. But yeah, um, like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Patreon. Be sure to tune into our podcast every week. Rich, stop it. And uh, we, will, we will, you know, follow, catch I'm you later. Snapchat for some more Instagram story, thing. What you know about this? What you know about this? <laughs>